Everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do this to my face, which is essentially what I have been doing every day of winter. So without further ado, this is my everyday winter makeup routine. Enjoy! So foundation wise, I have been absolutely loving this, which is the YSL Touche Eclat Le Tien, and it's the foundation in BR20. I really like this. However, I've also been mixing it with my trusty NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Mont Blanc, just because I feel like my skin is a little bit paler than it was when this worked. <laughs> so I generally just do like two pumps of this one and mix it with two pumps of this one. I'm not gonna lie guys, I've literally just taken all of this out of my makeup bag to use. I haven't washed it or like cleaned it beforehand. I've used all these makeup brushes yesterday so they are dirty but I feel like most of you can look past that because, let's be honest, yours are probably dirty too, aren't they? The brush I'm using for this, by the way, is the Sigma Round Kabuki F82. Next thing I'm going to use is a concealer. Now, for under my eyes, I'm using the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. I have mentioned this multiple times. This is one of my favourite concealers, especially for under the eyes. I absolutely love it. So I just dab that under the eye. I have to say, I'm not shy when it comes to concealer, especially under the eyes. I'd rather put more on and blend it a bit more than not enough. Also, can you ever really have too much under eye concealer? Now for my skin, I'm just gonna use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair. This is just amazing. Also very affordable and easy to get hold of. I'm using the same brush just to blend in my concealer. I guess as well as this being like my everyday makeup, it's also the makeup that I do when I literally have like 20 minutes. Okay, now that I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, I'm gonna put a little bit of powder on. I am using the Pixi powder. This is actually a color correcting powder foundation. I only really use this in my T-zone and on my chin, which are places that I generally tend to get oily in the quickest. This is a really lovely powder though. I think if you have blemish-free skin and you only really tend to put a bit of powder on, A, you're extremely lucky, and B, I think you might like this. I think it's really lovely. And in any areas where you might want to glisten a little bit more, I feel like skin can feel and look very flat when it's winter, especially when it's grey and gloomy outside. So I do like to put a little bit of this on, which I lived in through the summer. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. And I just put a little bit of that where I tend to want to glow a bit more. I just find this powder really adds depth to your face. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's amazing. Oh, the brush I used for those is the Sigma Blush F92. Next up is contour. I'm still loving this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light to medium. These are powder contours. So you've got the contour colors here and then you've got the highlight colors here. They're all completely matte which I also really like. And to do that, I am going to use my very old, very haggard uh, MAC. I wish I knew what this was. I wanna say 263, 169, 168, 168. I think I need to put a new one of these on my Christmas wish list. Alfie, if you're watching, one of these angle brushes would be great. <laughs> I tend to go for the middle shade and I just Dab that on there, suck in my cheeks. That looks so scary in the camera. Holy crap. I actually don't really know the rules of contouring, but I do feel like it makes such a massive difference to how your face looks. And then in an attempt to disguise your double chin, 
which before you all say, you don't have a double chin. I can show you I have a double chin if you don't believe me. <laughs> From certain angles, I can get a double chin. I wish in these videos I could offer you a whole host of makeup advice but I'm just showing you what I do and I'm not saying it's the way you're supposed to do it, but it's working out okay for me so far. Using my Charlotte Tilbury blusher brush, I'm going to pop on a little bit of the Marc Jacobs blush in Tantric 102, which also love, I'm obsessed with this. And I'm gonna just pop that on. I think bronzer is like, my favourite part of makeup application because instantly you look more alive. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna go back to my MAC 168, is that what we decided it was called? Because numbers have rubbed off. Um, and I'm gonna use this, which is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. I'm still loving and using this. I basically used this all through summer and I'm still using it now, which I think shows how diverse it is and also how much I love it. This is really pigmented, so you have to be quite like careful with it. Just gonna do a little smile. <laughs> and for a little bit of highlight, I'm gonna stick that in there. That is the Champagne Pop. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my cheekbone, love it. That is mostly my face done. Now I am going to pop on an eyeshadow primer. The one I like to use is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the one I have is anti-aging because I'm 27 soon and believe you me, wrinkles are starting to appear around my eyes. But these things happen and if you can use a primer potion, that could potentially prevent it in any way, then why wouldn't you? I just put a little bit on here and a little bit on here. Do you know, I use Primer Potion every single day without fail. Um, I know so many people who skip eye primers altogether, but I, I don't know, I just find it makes a massive difference. If we're being picky, the wrinkles ain't on my eyelids, they're underneath. So maybe it's working. Or maybe I'm just still too young to get eye wrinkles just yet. Eyeshadows that I have been absolutely loving this month and pretty much wearing every single day is the Kylie Jenner Burgundy Palette. Oh my God, look at those colors. They are so beautiful. The brush I'm using is a very dirty MAC 239 eyeshadow brush. And I'm just dabbing it in there, tapping it off. Then I tend to do a little bit underneath my eye. And then using this one, which is the Tapered Blending Brush by Sigma E35. I'm gonna go in with a mixture of this one, this one, and this one. I kind of blend the three together. Look at that. And then I just blend that into the outer corner of the eye. Once you're happy with your placement, it still looks kind of scary, so we're gonna blend it a little bit more. This is the same brush, but it's a different one just because it's a little bit cleaner. And I just blend that a little bit more. There we go. And then using the same matte brown, I'm gonna take that underneath my lash line and meet up with the gold color. I feel like this looks quite autumnal, but this is what I've been wearing through winter, so. And then to give a little bit more of a brightness to the inner corners of my eye, I'm gonna use this, um, which is in the top right hand corner, and I believe this is called Naked. Next up, I'm gonna do my eyebrows because I just think this looks so weird without having done my eyebrows yet. For my brows, I use a combination of two MAC eyeshadows. The first is Charcoal Brown, the second one is Mystery. And using a MAC 266 brush, I fill them in. I 
Oh, I'm using a Benefit brow gel now just to set them in place. I honestly think when you've done all your makeup, it doesn't look right until you've put mascara on. Mascara time. I am using this one, which is by Smith & Colt, and it's called Lash Dance, and I absolutely love it. The only thing I will say is that if you don't like clumpy, thick mascara, you will hate this. This is very thick, very clumpy. It feels a little bit like a mascara that you've kind of left for like six months. Because of that though, it dries out so much quicker. I think I've had this for about a month and I think I already need to buy a new one, but I love it. You also really don't need that many coats of this mascara. My bottom lashes. Ta-da! And then last, but by no means least, I am going to be using this. This is the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint in the shade Bestie, which I also featured in my November favorites because I absolutely love this. I love the formulation, I love the color, I love how well it lasts. Big fan. There we go. And this is my current everyday winter makeup. So I really hope that you guys found this somewhat useful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you again tomorrow with another 24 Days of Zoella video. Bye.